what up? That's Numb His Squad, and welcome back, guys. Hey, it's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn it around right now with some good energy and some good content. All right? Most definitely. So, my lovely wife, who we got today, baby? All right, today we'll be reacting to Oliver Anthony. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, part two. Part two? Yes. Uh oh. We didn't right. catch part one. We didn't. <laughs> but it's all good. Let's go ahead and jump to part two, all right? You guys help us this video and we appreciate it. So before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys are notified. Let's get it, baby. Okay. Good energy, good content. Let's see what we got. Well, hey there. It's August 25th, 2023. A lot's changed since the last time I sat here and spoke to you. Um, my friends and family have asked me how I'm doing. Everybody is wondering if I'm uh, if I've lost my sanity yet. <laughs> right. I'm surprisingly calm and at peace. Good. I've. I don't even know what to say, but I. I feel thankful to be given this opportunity. Um, you know, the music side is exciting and all the billboard, iTunes, charts and all that crap, that's great. But uh, what's the exciting part's been the conversations I've had with people and the things I've learned just in a couple weeks about, um, about the human spirit. And, um, and, and about all sorts of other things, the music industry and and how how dirty everything is like uh -oh. he's, it's worse than you think oh my gosh so i don't know what the future looks like for me i'm not really too concerned about the future i'm living in the present okay and i right. i just have to have i just have to have the discernment to make the right decisions amen from now now. brother because um <laughs> I think about that guy who was sitting here a few weeks ago talking to you, and uh, the most important thing, and the most important thing to me, is not leaving him behind. Wow! Wow, man! Woo! I don't want to go on some roller coaster ride and come off a different person. Uh, if there is anything for me to address at all with you, it's that. Uh, You know, it's the one thing that has bothered me is seeing people wrap politics up into this. Uh, I'm disappointed to see, like, it's aggravating seeing people on conservative news try to identify with me like I'm one of them. It's aggravating seeing wow. certain musicians and politicians act like we're buddies and, and act like we're fighting the same struggle here. Like they wow. were trying to present the same message. Wow. Uh, That's sad. You know, I've, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and I've tried to be polite to everybody. And um, I've talked to hundreds of people the last two weeks. But it seems like certain people want to just ride the attention of this song to maybe make them their own selves relevant. And that's aggravating as hell. The other thing that I find aggravating is, uh, well, you know, like it was funny seeing my song in the. It was fun. It was funny seeing it at the presidential debate, because it's like I wrote that song about those people, you know. <laughs> so for them to have to sit there and listen to that, uh, that cracks me up. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> See, that's how God works. Uh, but it was funny kind of seeing the response to it. Like that song has nothing to do with Joe Biden, you know. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than Joe Biden. Um, yeah. Amen. That song is written about the people on the on that stage, and a lot more too. Not just them, but but definitely them. It's cool seeing some of my other music come out because people are, I guess, starting to appreciate and understand what it is I'm really trying to say. It's hard to get a message out about about your political ideology or your belief about the world in three minutes and some change. Yeah. Um, 
But I hate, I do hate to see that song being weaponized. Like I see, wow. I see the right trying to characterize me as one of their own, mm. and I see the left trying to um, trying to discredit me. Wow. I guess in retaliation. Uh, that shit's got to stop. If you watch the response videos on YouTube to the song, it's not conservative people responding to the song. Yeah. It's not even necessarily Americans responding to the song. Um, I don't know that I've seen anything get such positive response from such a diverse group of people. Yeah. Come on now. And I think that terrifies the people that I sing about in that song. Mm. And they've done everything they can the last two weeks to make me look like a fool, to spin my words, to try to stick me in a political bucket. And they can keep trying, <laughs> but I'm just going to keep on writing. Yes, sir. Come I've on, got man. a lot of words to put down yes. on paper, and I've got, I've got a lot of songs to put to chords. And um, I don't know what my music career is going to look like. I don't know how many shows I'm going to do and how many tours I'm going to put on, but I am going to stay true to my word. I'm, yes. I'm going to write. I'm going to write, produce and distribute authentic music that represents people Hell to the end. and not politics. Yes. <laughs> I do feel compelled to address something. Um, since I have addressed the conservatives, I do need to address the left as well because they're sending a message out that that, that initial song that sort of shot me up the radar, Richmond North of Richmond, is, is an attack against the poor. What? If you listen to my other really? music, it's obvious that all of my songs that reference class defend the poor. Uh, Dog on, it's a good example of that. Needles in the street, folks hardly surviving on sidewalks next to highways full of cars self-driving. The poor keep hurting and the rich keep thriving. Whoa. Mm. It's like, that's what I like to sing about. And wow. you know, the English language is interpretive. And so I do powerful. understand like, there may be some people who, who misunderstood my words in Richmond, North of Richmond. But I've got to be clear that my message, like with any of my songs, it references the inefficiencies of the government because of the politicians within it that are engulfed in bribes and extortion. And you know, the words say that there's people on the street with nothing to eat in the obese milk and welfare. That references a news article I read earlier this summer that adolescent kids in Richmond are missing meals over the summer because their parents can't afford to feed them and they're not in school to eat cafeteria lunch. Mm. And meanwhile, I think like 30 or 40% of the food bought with welfare or EBT money is, um, is in a classification of like snack food and soda. I think 10% spent on soda and I want to say like 20 or 30% spent on junk food. Amen. And that's right. not the fault of those people. Mm. Uh, welfare only makes up a, a small percentage of our budget. You know, we can we can fuel a proxy war in a foreign land, but we can't take care of our own. Woo! That's all the song's trying to say. That's a message uh -oh. right there. It's just saying that the government takes people who are needy dependent and makes them needy independent. Wow. And at some point, I will dissect all my lyrics of all my songs, if that's what I need to do. Come on, I mean, yeah. 30 some million people understood what I was saying, but it only takes a yes. few to try to uh, derail the train, right. you know, to try to send out false narratives. And I'm sure there'll be more of that to come. It's like, uh, it's driving people crazy to see the unity that's come from this, from all walks. This isn't a Republican and Democrat thing. This isn't even a, a, a United States thing. Like this has been a global wow. response. Right. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Go on YouTube and watch all the response videos. You know? Yay! Don't shoot the messenger. Like I'm a nobody. Yes. It's my belief that divine intervention has put me in this position in this point in time to get a message across, and that's all there is to it. Like I'm nobody special. Amen. You know. I, I, f I feel terrible almost that I've been put in this place because there there are a lot of artists and musicians out there that are far more talented that have put in way more hours than me. Like I don't deserve, 
I, I don't deserve to sit in the top five places on the iTunes charts. And the truth is I really could yeah, give a shit know. less about the iTunes charts. What I care about is connecting with people. What I care about is... <sighs> Take your time, man. I don't, I don't know what this country is going to look like in 10 or 20 years if things don't change. I don't know what this world's going to look like. Yeah. Mm. And, like, something has to be done about it, you know? There's been too many people die. There's been too many people sacrifice everything they've had. People die before they even, before they're even 18, you know? Sad. Just to, for us to all sit here and just do the stupid shit it is that we do every day that keeps us all all beat down and divided like that's what I want to see stop yes and I'm going to do everything I can to influence that at all costs even if it does um, even if it does throw my world upside down it's what it's well worth it but for now I'm hanging in there and I'm, I'm doing Thank what you. I can Thank you, wow. and, and Thank you, man. I really appreciate everybody who's along for the ride. So, uh, there's a lot more to come, and I'm excited for it. And I, I'll see you on the next one. All right, Oliver. That was awesome, man. Oliver Anthony. You feel like he was just, you know, looking you right know, at us, talking to us. Even though his name is Chris, I still like to call him Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Oliver, right? Yeah, I, um, this is deep. It's so deep. Wow, this is deep. The way that this song, this man's heart, his words, his thoughts have touched the world. Yes. Is so powerful. It's like he has the power of God just behind him completely. Absolutely. You can feel the power of God in this man when he speaks. I mean, he's, how humble he is! Oh my goodness! And it's like he's like the chosen one. God yes. got to choose someone. Yes. To speak to the people. Yes. And get he the message is the out chosen fast. one. That's yes. what it is, my love. He got the message out so fast. And he's probably been writing and singing for almost all his life, probably. Yes. But it took this message to hit the world and impact everyone. Not even only in the United States, but everywhere in the world. Yes, and this is not people made are up. reacting to this song. It has it has truly touched it's us touched all. A lot of people because we're going through this, being divided because of political party, yes. because of the color of your skin, because of your finances. Yep. I mean, everything, almost almost everything in this world has been created to divide us all as a people and I love as a human race the way he addressed real life situations you know he's not just making this up you yeah. know this is real life and he's putting it into the lyrics where everyone can feel it and understand it and everyone is like on one frequency you know what yes I'm saying? he's bringing us all on one accord he's like the glue you know, Most definitely. To bring people back together. He's what the world needs. What we all Absolutely. need in this world. Somebody has to do it. Yeah. This, what God has put this man in place to do, we have to pray for him. Yeah. Because. We have to. He is really about to be attacked in every way possible because of his the power of God that's inside of him. Yes. The devil is going to try. And I know a lot of people don't believe in that, but it's true. And yes. even if you don't want to call it the devil, let's call it evil intentions. And they're going to they're going to come after this guy and offer him everything in this yes. world. Yes. Everything that this world has to offer, they are going to lay it out on a platter. But in return, they are going to Suck them dry. Yeah, take it, take down. it all away. He's right, not even going down. to be able to talk about the problems in the world because he'll be silenced. And you heard once they say, try to get him to sign that contract, is that will be the end. You say he don't, he don't deserve to be at the top. 
five on iTunes. And then he said, I'm not even worried about that. He just want the message out. And I think he's doing a good job with doing that. He's saying that, you know, he got more songs to come. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, everybody got an assignment. Everyone got a job. Just like we want to pick it up and push it out, yes. you know, to people that never heard about him. Yeah. You know, so um, it's like a well old machine. And he's doing good at the top. He's Most definitely. Good. And he said those pretty people, good, they're afraid because of the diverse group. Right. It's like they thought they had the numbers together of people like, hey, we got them. We yeah. finally have them. Statistics show that the black hate the white, the Chinese hate the the, the Hispanic, right? you know, just everybody hates everybody. And when this song hit the world, it made you realize how close we really are and how much we really how much yes. we all have in common Absolutely. and how much we really love each other. Yeah. I mean this guy, I don't know if he pulled over, but it's like raining cats and doves, you know, and he's you know, he's just pulling out his heart and his soul, telling people and addressing problems and everything, you know, he's speaking out to the people because he don't want things to, you know, um just people have any kind of thought. So he want to address this, and I, you know, I really take my head off to him, man. So Standing do I. Up and addressing everything in the song, and you know, the people, and letting people know what it's about. You know, just don't get it twisted. Before that debate, when we did the reaction to yeah. the song, I remember you said you would like for the people in the White House. <laughs> The people, you know, like for the politicians reaction. to react to this. Right. And a week, two weeks later, <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> to see that. Yes. It's like, wow, okay. Right. But instead of them reacting to it, they tried to, like, act like they to they're the thing. same as us. Right. But they're not. No. Wow, um, that was awesome, Oliver. That was awesome, man. Keep on doing your thing. We are behind you, 100%. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section, guys. Let us know what you think. All right, that's all the time. All right. We signing off. Until next time, here's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. We love you guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. Love you, babe. Definitely have made a bit of a Peace.